Hey everyone, Cobra here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a very exciting video. This is on the Battles of Oakvale in the Grand Mafia. So you can see right here at the bottom left, we've now got the timer for the countdown. If you click on it, it will show you the current map. You've got the center site, the weapon center, the material storage sites. There's four of them, four stash houses, and four different and uh, four different colored rectangles that's where you're going to start um, in about two minutes we're going to be able to actually teleport to the battlefield so for now we're just going to show you what the rewards for this event are so if you click here you can see there's rules it'll explain a little bit about it or you can click rewards now this goes by points that you earn during it so you obviously want to get the top reward you get a thousand collectible tickets that is very helpful in addition to some speeds so do your best to always get to the top tier oh sorry my bad this is for battle points for your faction round rewards here's what i was meant to talk about so you have points you can see personal points greater than a hundred thousand you're gonna get this top one that's going to give you some good resources some of these tokens that you can redeem to get margarita or other things some speeds and then there's personal rankings where you can get these that will allow you to get different collectibles or diamonds and you get more of the collectibles tickets and then faction ranking rewards this goes off you know there's four factions whoever whichever faction gets the most points is going to get rank one two three four etc so obviously the objective is to get points individually and as a faction now the way the points works is each different area is worth more points we're going to start out and say we start out in this part right here this rectangle then we're going to want to capture this land you can see this beginning area the land is worth 100 points for the first occupation and 100 points every minute that's every sector of land here then after a certain amount of time once that's open the stash houses will open up if you capture it it gives you 15% defense for your faction, in addition to 300 points for the occupation and 300 points per minute. So that's even a little bit better. Then this middle area is going to open up. You can see this is worth 200 and 200. A little bit after that, material storage sites, 500 plus crew HP plus 15. And you can see these all give the same then the intersection will open up you can see right here 600 for these middle eight and then the weapon center the last thing attack plus 15 and 1200 points per minute so obviously if you control that you're going to be getting mega points now the thing is these sites the weapon center the storage site the stash houses they only allow you to have five people in them at a time so you want people that can defend them and then if you're trying to get points it's also good to be in them now you're going to see looks like the battle actually has started now so we can go and hit enter so it looks like this is going to be our zone right here blue i'm going to put myself in this corner here because i'm one of the stronger ones so then that means when enemies come over onto this side I will be one of the first people to fight them so the way i like to set it up is strong people go on either of the two corners where you're going to be closest to the enemies that way when they start to try and take these lands you can fight them for it and then the middle people is going to be or like the weaker people are going to go in the middle they can take all the ones that are not going to be quite as contested so first thing you're going to want to do is you want to take over as much land as possible you have to be inside it for i believe 30 seconds to be able to capture it and then progressively work your way towards the middle you can only capture things that are connected to land you own so if i capture this spot right in front of me and there's a guy right here and then i capture this spot over here and this spot over here eventually these guys that are going to be in the yellow zone are not going to be able to take any land unless they attack ours because they can't attack over here you know in like these areas because they're not connected to it so you want to 
At the same time, you want to keep getting more and more land, but you also want to hold off your enemies. That's why I like having the stronger people in the corners. But that's just my personal strategy. I know other people probably have others. So basically, you want to take over as much land for your faction as you can. I like using one tier one biker because they're the fastest. And if it dies, it dies. It doesn't matter. Now, anything that gets injured or dies in this does not affect outside of this event. So feel free. You can revive things that die in this if you want to keep going for more points. I only recommend it if you're really close to like the highest tier or something. Maybe do it a little bit just to get there. But don't waste all your speed ups trying to do that because that's end up in the end is going to be a waste. So here we are. The battle is going to start here in 10 seconds. You see, actually, I don't see any enemies to my side right here. This might just be a very easy battle. So you can see right here, I'm just going to go occupy one tier one. Bam. Going to go over the next one, one tier one. Next one over here, also one tier one. So in order to get points, you're going to want to occupy as many spots as you can. Oh, I guess it takes a minute. You can also double up. So now I like to keep all my armies out or at least four of them to get maximum points. I'm trying to see if our enemies are actually looks like this yellow one has not even spawned in. So we're just going to have this bottom one here. And actually that looks like our only target at the moment, which is really weird. Normally there are other people, but this might just be a really easy to get points one. I don't know if it's just a bad time or what, but that will give me lots of time to mess around and show you guys the different things. Hopefully there will be a little bit of fighting to make this a little more exciting. Well, you can see here my first crew, the timer is at one second. So now I'm going to go, I'm going to attack from an area and it'll default the first one. That way it's the fastest. Bam, we got that one. So you can see the ones that are now outlined in blue, that means we own them which means we can now push forward. So you can see we're starting to own more and more of this land, and it'll get really easy if these guys are not actually going to play. However, we're going to have guys that are down here. These guys are playing. They've got a handful of people here. Let's see about us. Actually, we're looking pretty sad as well. Let me... Maybe that will help. You can see we're just going to keep going with this land. Uh, currently, it's not very exciting, so I'm going to skip forward a bit for you so you don't have to sit through and just watch all this. All right, guys. So now we've fought for a little bit. We actually reached enemies. And so you can see now there's a lot of fighting going on. I've got mine right here. I just knocked out an enemy. But stash houses are about to open. So you can see right here second it opens i'm going to occupy send some stuff bam let's be the first ones there so you can see right here i've got my crew now one thing you do get points for this is gonna hurt so i'm gonna attack from an area so you get points more points for killing people than you actually do for controlling stuff so you want to watch that. So you can see I'm actually just wiping out some people here because this guy is chasing me because he knows that he's got the counter for me. So he's just going to continue to attack me over and over again right here. But I'm smarter than he is. So he's just going to keep going after this. So you can see right here, in terms of points overall, so I got 16,000. Now if I'm going to attack this guy, so we're just going to attack from an area, we'll attack this guy. And I don't know what he's got. Guess we'll find out. I'm a lot stronger than he is overall, so it shouldn't be bad. You can see right here, you engaged in battle, I got some kills. This guy is just literally chasing me. 
because he knows he's got my counter, which is hilarious. But you can see we've got this stash house right there. I captured it. Oh, crap. I messed up there. I thought I could hit that, but I couldn't because I don't have this area captured. This guy's literally just going to chase me, which is hilarious. You can see I'm now capturing this area. And I'm going to... Uh, he's still coming after me, man. This guy is not giving me a break. Makes it very hard to uh, be able to show you guys things when I'm getting bombarded currently. They're going to attack, so I'm just what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these guys back a little bit because this guy is just going to com constantly bombard me right now. But I know that he's attacking with an army of uh, hitmen, so I'm going to just send an army of bruisers after him. You can see this is a lot of combat right here, so they just wiped me out on that spot. But that's also because I did not have any troops there, I just had my one. You can see currently I've got 177,000 troops in the hospital, but it really doesn't make a difference at this point because I'm okay. So we've got four people here. I'm just going to send one troop here, just get a few points. And I'm going to send my other decent army to here. And we'll throw a marksman army on here as well. And then that way... Or, sorry, a Hitman army. That way, we have three armies here. And we're really going to give them a hard time. I do have some enemies coming after me. But that's usual. They might actually beat me here. I've only got... Actually, I have 300,000 troops here. So I doubt they'll beat me. But we'll see. They did. Wow. Granted, that guy does have like six times my no way he didn't lose hardly anything what does he have i'm gonna recall my troops before i get crushed this guy might have he's got tier four that's why yeah he hit me with two hundred thousand tier four yeah, so sometimes you'll come against people like that. He's got 300,000 influence, or 300 million. I've got 59 million, and I'm one of the higher people in our city, so that is a very rough one. But that's just the luck of the draw. Uh, we're actually still holding our own pretty well, so not too bad. But... Basically, you just want to keep going and take as much land as you can. You can see they have all this over here. They're going to be earning the most points. You can see points per minute. They're way ahead of us, but we're way ahead of the rest of the people. Points-wise, actually, like for per person, I'm up here in second place right now. The guy with 300 million is in first because he's crushed me pretty good and a few other people. But... That's kind of the basics. You want to get as many points as you can, and the best way to do that is just occupying as much land as possible. So, let's send in my hitman. This is the way I recommend doing it, is sending in specific types. That way, if you know that they're sending in an army of hitmen, you can counter with bruisers. If they're sending in bikers, you can counter... With Hitman, you know, you can move around as well. So this guy's come in there. We will just attack him with some bruisers because I know that's what he's weak to. Bam. Oh, actually, he just got a lot of reinforcements. That's going to hurt. Ooh, they got me. Dang it.
I thought it was fast enough, but it was not. So you can see right here, this is what I'm about to hit. Um, there's a good chance I'm going to lose this because that is three armies currently. We'll see what ends up happening. We'll pop. It looks like maybe marksmen. We'll pop some marksmen over there. Uh, so they're not actually going to let me hit them. They all move over to the other spot. They're smart. That's honestly what I recommend doing. If you're getting attacked, switch to the another another spot. That's right next to it. You can go back and forth all you want. Because then they won't hit you. Like that guy's going to hit me. He had his tier 4. So I'll just switch over to this other spot. And all right, so we're actually getting having a hard time with this right now. Oh, this is the guy with tier four. Let's see what happens. He's going to hit two of my armies at the same time. This one actually has 400,000 troops. So he wiped me out on that spot. Let's see if he wipes out my 400,000 as well. He does. So he just got a ton of points. Yeah, you can see his points skyrocketed because he just absolutely wiped me out. But we still got this right here. I'm going to garrison it because they're coming towards us. So I'm going to start by throwing in my hitmen. Where's the rest of my hitmen people? Am I blind? Or do I have them out? I call this back. So you can see currently, like I've got 37,000 points. That's not very many. Goal is to get 100,000. You want to get that top reward. But this is basically how it works. You're just going to push each other back and forth over and over again until the hour ends. Basically, this one is one faction that is taking over everything because they're strong and we're trying to push them back. The other two are just getting pushed around really bad. So it really stinks for them. But if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Um, obviously, the bigger the things that you occupy, the better. So that guy's a 50 million. Let's see if I can help my team out over here. But you want to make sure that you own some buildings and as much land as possible. Ooh, they just took this farm or this uh, stash house, I mean. Yeah. So that's going to be really rough because that guy's got the tier 4. So we're not going to get that one back. But like this guy over here, he was giving our teammates a hard time. But I will just send in my marksman army. That was marksman art. Yeah, send in my mark. Oh, they actually wiped him out. Nice. But basically, try and capture as much land as you can. Um... Looks like the left side might be a little easier since the right side's where that really strong guy goes. I'm going to send in an army here, just ASAP. Go, go, go. Throw in my hitman too. Try and capture that. But Basically, just keep pushing each other around. Just get as many points as you can. I've got all these troops here. Could I heal them and keep going? Absolutely. I'm not going to. It's not worth it. The rewards are pretty good, but they're not worth spending all of that. So that's what I recommend. Um, it's a fun event. The better your faction does, the more points they earn towards the rankings. And then you can move up, move down. And you, it happens every week. Uh, for me, it's a Saturday. Normally within a few hours. I don't know if that's just because we always want that time, but that's how it ends up happening. Uh, definitely a team event. Make sure you're working as a team. If you have you know voice chat, you have in-game chat, whatever it takes, it's definitely a good way of going about it. But if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Uh, that's just a little bit of info about this. Hope it helps.